how's it friggin' going, eh? So, um, today I want to uh, go mess around on the ice maybe there a bit, and uh, I got my chainsaw too. We're going to see if we can friggin' hack a hole open or something, see how thick this friggin' ice is, but uh, not going to take the four-wheeler on it yet. Still a bit nervous about that. That bay I was out in once there on an old snowmobile, and uh, I went skiing down onto the ice there, Whoosh, went about halfway there, and I uh, said, I said to myself, something doesn't feel right. So I got off the machine, figuring there's lots of ice, and picked up my foot, and all of a sudden the water started bleeding up through. I'm like, oh, holy crap! I was freaking. So I jumped on the machine quick and gave her and did the turn, and I didn't have very good carbides, I guess then, so she wasn't turning. And there was probably four or five inches of snow on that too, right? And uh, she just wasn't turning, so I got off and uh, got off the machine and then went and picked it up and then like the back end of her like, you know, like this and and then tried to, trying to skid her around and as I'm doing that, the water's pulling up through and underneath the track it's all pulling up. I was freaking crapping my pants, so I got her, got her situated anyways and I jumped on her and just freaking mashed her and uh, I'm thinking it was this sort of poor old machine here that's beat right to snot up in the corner here. I think that was that one I was riding. Anyways, it's beat to crap that thing. Um, the only thing that's good in it is the motor. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, I just hammered her and it was only a 250 and it's just like Bwah! And I could feel the, the track like, oh, go on, like breaking through, you know, as I'm driving I'm like, oh crap! So I was just giving her and it was breaking, 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 breaking. I look back and there's just the ice has just gone all ripply and crappy where it broke, but anyways, enough of that ranting. Let's see if this thing will start. I want to take this back anyways. Now, I've just got a new battery in it. You guys, if you look back a year or so ago, I put a, I was trying to use this thing and it wouldn't start and new battery and crap, and, and now it freaking seems crap again. So, we'll see if it'll turn here. No. See? What the frig? Nothing. That's weird, eh? There's not enough juice to turn it over. Freak sakes. Wait. Doesn't have glow plugs. Why does it say well? Oh man. Dickard. It started the other day, but not today, I guess. Friggin' stupid thing. See, I don't know why. It's a brand friggin' spanking new battery, but she, 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 she's upset. She's upset. Try again here. No, nope. well, go get my friggin' meter, I guess, and see what's going on here. Maybe I've got a bad connection or something. So this thing's got a diagnostic-y thing on it too, but you need two hands, so what you gotta do is always put it in neutral, I think it's neutral, and uh, hit this button, a little speed reverse override, um, push that in and then turn it just to on, the on position, and that should flash a version blah blah blah, and uh, go into diagnostic mode, so let's do that. So there she is. Okay, so now you just use your button, and you go through, so yeah, so we're sitting at 10.9 volt. So let's see if she'll start on that. Wow. Should be going on that, you'd think. It didn't drop that much. But, um, I brought another battery here, so we're going to hook this up and uh, see if that goes past that 10.8. Okay, so I got her all hooked up except the last one, so... Oh yeah, look at that go up now. Hey, this battery must be friggin' shot. What the frig? Uh, I could probably still get warranty on it. I'm sure it's a uh, one year, but it's probably been over that anyways, but... Oh, for frig's sake. Uh, let's see if she'll go now. That's all she needed, dudes. What the frig? Look at her charge now. 13... She said idle is charging it. 18.7, 28. Okay. Oh, I'll take these off now. Friggin' batteries, eh? What a pain in the arse. But the guy did 
say to me, though, if you don't use her much, you should take her out or put her on a battery tender or something, you know. I'm like, really? Our technology is still that dicked. Oh, I'll put that on. 14.2. Oh, yeah. That'll charge her up. Stupid thing. So, what other settings we got? Let's attack. There too, you must have some more gas in there. Well, I'll just let her warm up, I guess, a minute. And I gotta get the old burner out of the way here so I can back her out. Uh, we're out, and uh, just kind of keep the uh, voltage up there, see, uh, keep her tracked, at, uh, see what she's doing, you know. So we're holding good at 13 right now, that's good. So let's go maybe the long way here. Just got her in low range, that's all we're gonna need right now. Steering with one, I'll, one hand, I'll tell you. Should have had the GoPro on, I guess. Oh, well. Hey, I'll see if we can do some donuts after. crap I just shut it off never even thought <laughs> it's gonna start again got no recoil on this one oh just barely just barely oh boy I better let that run a minute okay so we're putting the ice crap on hold for now because buddy's still back there and he's just kind of really ticking me off you know like some people just come and they sit for like four hours in the day you know it's like dude don't you have anything else to do I got ice to cut what the frig I got two of us entertained what the frig so I guess for now we'll just do like a couple of donuts or something. See what we can do on this thing. It'd be friggin' awesome as frig probably. So let's uh, friggin' make some donuts. Well, isn't that enough to just to sour up your day, eh? Frick, she was running good. Lots of chooching, charging. Start, stop to here to freaking set up the camera and stuff. Go back to start it up and you heard it. Good thing I'm not far from the garage. Just walk back, get the battery and the cables, and away we go again, for freak's sakes. Oh well, we'll charge her up now, I'll freaking tell you that.
that don't charge a freaking battery up nothing well. Holy crap! Camera set up so I shut it off. I started it up down there. Backed it up here, parked it. Get on out of here! Holy cow, I got tubers to entertain for freak's sakes. Well, down here on the ice anyways. And I'm thinking of coming down here to maybe try to go on. But uh, it's a bit scary though, because you can hear up here. See, it's a bit hollow sounding. But I don't think it'll be an issue. This freaking giver. But uh, uh, let's try going out here somewhere and chainsawing a bit first. And this spot here looks a lot deeper than it is. Uh, the next, well, it's deeper than it looks. How's that? That's better. But I gotta treat the winch too if I have to get, you know, get myself out. So that'd be awesome. And I brought my battery and I got my cables in the thread box here. But we're gonna shut her down. Oh boy, hope that didn't just stick her. Oh well, let's get the saw off here and uh, we'll go try uh, cutting a piece of ice out. Well, nice knowing you, tubes. Here goes nothing. Awesome. It's just like Minecraft. Oh boy. Oh, I think I'm right on a tree stump though. Freak's sakes. Oh well, we got some something open here. I'm right on a tree stump, I think, for freak's sakes. Oh, freak, let's try that again. Maybe over there then. How'd we make it that time? Well, I think the fish are breathing down there anyways. Just like Minecraft! Oh, freak yeah. Oh. Huh. Just like Minecraft. Should've brought a stick over with me for freak's sakes. Need a stick, tubes. Well, I got a stick. Let's see if we can get this uh, pushed down into the way, maybe. So we're deep enough here. Oh, oh, that's pretty sweet. Gotta show you this if I can get her back up right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Have a look at this closer, tubes. Okay, remember I was saying something about Minecraft? Well, that looks like a Minecraft block. Let Vlogging Life and Logie check this one out and see if they think so too. Look at the layerage. You know, like there's probably the 
first bit of freeze or whatever. I, I don't know. I guess it freezes from the top down. I don't know. I'm out of breath. But you can see the freaking uh, bubbly layers too, eh? And that's really sweet. And then I guess this was more snowy on top that's froze down, right? Man, that's uh, well, my boot's 12. I'm not stepping on her because I know I'll be down in the freaking hole. So there's a 12, 12 inches of freaking uh, ice there. I I'll have to go look it up and see what. Uh, ah, I got an iPhone. I can look it up right here. Isn't that convenient? But uh, let's see if we can push this down out of the way more here. Here we go. Oh, right in the mud right there, though. It's not very deep. You can feel the mud right there. So we've only got, well, maybe 24 inches of water there. That's not so good. That's not so good. Won't be many fish there, so you'd have to go out further, but I'm not really out that far anyways. Like, I'd be probably out more in the middle there. I'm just, uh, just off the shore, you know, but uh, wow, 12 inches, that's freaking awesome. I was worried about uh, coming on here with a four-wheeler, but let me look it up and see how much uh, 12 inches will hold for weight. Oh, freak, here I am worrying, panicking, oh, I shouldn't be on it. Look at this crap here. Two inches or less stay off, well, that makes sense. Four inches for ice fishing or other activities on foot, so just a dude. Five inches for snowmobile or ATV, five inches. 8 to 12 inches for a car or small pickup and then 12 to 15 for a medium truck so there was a pretty good picture here too there you can see uh, apologize if there's a glare reflection but uh, yeah so freak we're good we'll be freaking good so I'm not gonna do her today though I'll tell you why because I've got poop coming out of my bum and ah uh... Kids will love you. And I'm way out here and I gotta go to the bathroom really bad. So Frig, we gotta we gotta get her get her home. So I wanna maybe drill one more closer up there uh, where I'm gonna roughly come on and see how we are for thickness there, just, just to make sure, you know. Well that's pretty good there. I had pretty much the depth of the bar, and uh, the depth of the bar over there was just all I had, so that should be good. I think I've got at least 10 inches there. It's just this little stretch to here, you know, that I'm going to have to juice her. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, poop's coming out my bum. I got to go. Oh, frig, I hope this is going to start. I got to go bad. Oh, thank goodness. Holy crap. That feels better. We freaking laid some cable. We freaking drained the colon. We freaking made a deposit to the septic tank. We're all good. Still alive. Holy crap. So, uh, I guess that's going to be about it for today. Uh, we'll, of course, rip open our Kinder Surprise here and uh, hopefully don't get another stupid water toy. Of course, I need some potato gun ammo. I already randomly picked one and I've got um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. Mine is, so this, is, this would be eleven, but I've got ten left, so we can do them pretty good. <sighs> Yes, I washed my hands after I went poopies. Okay. Oh, she's a tight packed one. Oh boy, is he ever tight packed? He just crammed right the frick in there. Holy just stuffing in. Oh, what is it? Hmm. Well, I think he's another one of those water toys, but the other ones you had to put together. This one's a a solidy sort of one, so. Maybe he'll be better. Have to get down to try him sometime. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, how about uh, we do one more thing? Uh, oh wait, we can look at this. There's a do not choke. There's some more do not chokes. Oh yeah, it's just a water squeezy guy he barfs out of his mouth, eh? So, uh, but yeah, let's uh, do one more thing. We'll do a freaking amazing fact. How's that sound? Okay, so we'll pull one or two off of the sheets of the world's most amazing facts. Uh, how about this one? An average, on average, a person will spend about five years eating during their lifetime. That's a lot of pigging out, eh? Um, 
And how about this one's kind of neat. A volcano has enough power to shoot ash as high as 50 kilometers into the atmosphere. Darken the whole sky out, I guess, eh? That's a long friggin' way up. Holy cow. So, yeah, you guys have a good friggin' day, and um, have a good friggin' day. So, we'll talk at you later.